Hey you guys, it's Christina and welcome to day four of the Healthy for the Holidays pre-book sale challenge. Thank you again for joining me. We are participating in nine days, nine videos, and potentially a bonus video on day 10 to help get all of us healthy for the holidays. If you haven't already signed up for this free challenge or gotten your shopping list or meal plan, you can get them now on my website at fullyraw.com or you can click on the link in the description of this video. Your goal is to eat one fully raw meal a day throughout this challenge and hopefully throughout the rest of the holidays. The purpose of this challenge is to inspire you to eat healthy and to celebrate the launch of my first book coming out January 5th called The Fully Raw Diet. This challenge gives you the opportunity to order the book online before it comes out in stores nationwide. You can even gift a copy of this book to your friends or your family this holiday. Oh, and I nearly forgot to mention, prizes. Hello! When you go to the website, you will see a sign up page where you can submit your email and sign up for different levels of entry to win a ton, a ton of prizes. All of the different ways for you to win are outlined here. Everyone who signs up and who actively participates daily by liking, commenting, and sharing will be entered in a raffle and eligible to win one of the following. A Vitamix blender, a Juice Presto juicer, a cool fully raw produce shopping bag, glass straws, t-shirts, a spiralizer, a year's worth of water from Evermore Water, and a cute wooden utensil set. The more you engage and share, the more points you will build to win one of these prizes. And on top of that, if you participate and purchase a copy of my book or more than one copy, you're entered in to win even more prizes. Things like a PDF of bonus recipes that aren't in my book, random phone calls from me in the middle of your day to brighten you up or make you smile, and even a special dinner made by me just for you. I am actually even gonna be giving away some of my personal gemstone bracelets and some of my body butters as well. To sign up for this challenge, go to my website at fullyrod.com and click on the link in the description of this video. Today, I am gonna share with you how to handle food fights or essentially disagreements around food beliefs and tips on how to be social during the holidays and still eat what you want. Have you ever been in a position where you want to eat healthy, but it doesn't quite fit in with your social life? Or have you ever been in a disagreement about your food beliefs with other people? I have found often that no one says anything when you're eating processed foods, but when you're eating healthy foods, many seem to always have an opinion. Eating fruits and vegetables isn't supposed to be complicated. It's supposed to be good for you, and it's supposed to be fun. I've been fully raw for over 10 years now. Crazy, right? And one of the most important things that I can share with you that I have learned is to live as an example, as an inspiration, and when necessary, use words. When you push, people will pull. It's a simple law of attraction. Be a shining light and people will naturally be drawn to you. In the past 10 years, I have managed to keep my social life and still find a healthy balance. Of course, I've been through my awkward situations, crazy food battles with my family, and even lost some friends over simply my diet choices. I've been in plenty of situations where family or friends haven't completely supported me, but I've worked through those moments with my loved ones, and I have found success in being able to share a part of myself with them along the way. Some of this lesson is learning to address the fears or insecurity inside of us that seek approval, and some of this lesson is learning how to let go and knowing when to say something. The most effective approach I have found is simply to enjoy being me, loving what I do and letting that speak for itself. When you are happy and exude happy, few will dispute unless they're truly unhappy with their own lives. In this case, we learn compassion for ourselves and for others. Fully Raw is about sharing your lifestyle and your passion for eating healthy foods. When we eat foods that make us feel good, we wanna share this amazing feeling with family and friends as well. Remember that getting healthy isn't about participating in some type of pop culture phenomenon or some cool click as a lifestyle. It's about getting healthy and living this way in a sustainable fashion for the rest of your life. It's important that you feel really secure in your choice to be healthy 
That way you can be strong and voice yourself when necessary when people ask you about it. That's important. Much of our society highly revolves around food. Going fully raw has really allowed me to focus on building and creating relationships that I want and with whom I want. I do more now than go on a typical lunch date with a friend. We will go to the park, we'll read books together, we'll go for runs, we make dinner together, we dance together, we play board games, we'll go boxing, we go to sports games, we hug trees, <laughs> we swim. My interactions with people are not just nonchalant meetings, but they include activities that interest both of us, and we have fun doing them. You know, when somebody gets mad at you for eating that way, you should just be like, and wink at them. They're gonna be like, what? And you'd be like, I'm winking at you. You know, works every time. Relationships are more than just about food. Relationships include your relationship with yourself and with others. And while food is a very important part and a very passionate part of yourself to share with someone, I realize that it doesn't always have to be about the food. Your relationship with food should not dictate your relationship with other people in your life. It's a passion that you want to share. Being healthy has allowed me to bond with people on a much deeper level food or no food involved. So the question becomes, how do you talk to your family about your diet, going vegan, or eating raw foods in the holiday season? Talking to your family about any new lifestyle changes can be difficult. They may not always agree with you, and that's okay. That's completely normal. You will have people in your life who support you and some who do not. And that goes for any circumstance. I have found that one of the most important things you can do when transitioning into this lifestyle is to communicate with your loved ones. Let them know the real reasons why you want to do this and tell them how much it means to you. Express this from your heart. Why are you doing it? Are you doing it to save the animals? Are you doing it to save your health? Do you want to share this gift with them? If people battle with you about your food choices, here's what you do. I recommend asking them questions. Why do they feel that way? Does this bother you? Why does this bother you? Allow them to share their feelings. Always listen and respond in calmness and with understanding, compassion, and kindness. Some may not understand at first why your food habits have changed. If you get all defensive on them, they have reason to believe that you're hiding something or that something is wrong. So be confident, show your excitement and your joy. That is much more difficult to argue with. Remember, never defend yourself. Just be you, do you. You eat healthy because you love it and it makes you happy. That is a good enough reason to explain anything. If people question after that, offer to make them one of your favorite dishes and have them enjoy it with you. If you're still in disagreement about food, come to a place of peace in knowing that you may not agree about food choices. Find other common ground and come to a place of respect for both parties. If you're looking for tips on how to be healthfully social during the holidays, here are a few other things that you can do and that I highly recommend. Invite people over for dinner. This is so much fun and I do it with all of my friends. Make them the best raw or vegan meal ever. Share it with them, introduce your passion to them and allow them to be exposed and potentially allow them to become passionate, as passionate about it as well that you are. Restaurant situations can sometimes be tricky because you may get something on your plate you don't necessarily want to eat or something else. So create a personal setting in your home that is intimate where you can spend quality time with that person and enjoy beautiful food. When you go to a restaurant, call before and ask what their options may be. Order a salad or a fruit plate. Always be prepared for group social situations and make sure that your needs for eating are taken care of well before you go. This takes away anxiety for you. You can even bring your own food to a restaurant or eat before you go. Yes, I have done both of those many times or I'll simply eat a little before I go and then I'll order something light when I get there. That way I can still share in the experience of eating with people, but not totally have to depend on the restaurant food for my meal. Make sure your needs are met first so that you can enjoy the time with your loved ones. 
As I mentioned before, participate in fun activities other than eating. Mix it up. Go to the park. Go for runs. Play board games. Go surfing. Go travel. Hug trees. Swim. Whatever makes you happy. Do things together that allow you to spend quality time with that person and get to know them better. Create and share a fun picnic. I like picnics. Picnics are the bomb. Spending time in nature and getting to drink juice and eat fruit in the sun on a blanket? Yes, please, sign me up. <laughs> so KB, nobody, everybody started laughing. It's fine, it's fine. Going to a movie? Bring your own baggie of fruit or carrots or okra or dates. Dates are a way better option than popcorn. I even love bringing mulberries. I have many times brought a small Tupperware with a salad in it and munched in the movie. Everyone giggles at me for it, but man, do I leave so happy afterwards. I just... <laughs> it's the magic wins. It's the Santa Ana. I, I did laugh. It's the Santa Ana wins. They're coming. No? Find and create a community of friends with the same common interests as you. It's really important to feel like you have support in this area. Still share your passion and love with those in your life, but get support. Find those with a similar passion. I promise it makes it all worth it. And lastly, share it. Don't hide it. Communication is so important. The more that you share your passion and your interest in this lifestyle, the more others will appreciate it too. Stand strong in your beliefs and don't be afraid. More often than not, we are more afraid of what people will think than anything else. If you're confident and happy in your choices, they will be too. All right, you guys, those are my tips and my recommendations on how to handle food fights and how to keep a healthy social life during the holidays. If you're participating in this challenge and if you are excited to be here, please give this video a thumbs up and comment below and please share all of your tips and your tricks on how to be social or how you've dealt with challenging situations like this. I'm sure everybody would appreciate it and love to hear as well. If you need more tips, tricks, or recipes on how to go fully raw, please subscribe here to Fully Raw Christina as we have fun getting healthy together. And if you wanna follow this challenge daily, see what I'm eating, see what I'm doing, you guys can also find me on my Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter, and Snapchat, all at Fully Raw or Fully Raw Christina. All right, you guys, I am so excited that you are here with me. You make it all worth it. Go sign up for this challenge if you haven't already. Submit your email. Please buy a copy of my book. Buy multiple copies for your family and your friends. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow on the next day of our challenge. Sending you all my hugs and my love. Bye.